that's how you start a nothing cast. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, do you have a chair in here? We have a, we have a bed. Oh, okay. I just we're just going to gonna move to the bed. No, no. This is it. I remember we, the only time we've ever actually got full nothing cast from the chairs is when we did like those shit pitches. Like we had to like, oh, yeah. look at like common expressions and like, like, <laughs> pitch like a TV show <laughs> and get yeah. a title. Yeah, just from, from the title. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah. Um, so what are we going to talk well, about we today? We're, we're going to talk we're... about what we think would be cool or we think is going to be in the new Gardens of the Galaxy yes. mixtape. Or awesome mix volume two. That's right. Okay. Well, first, I actually I have a story I forgot to tell you. Okay. It's perfect for this for nothing cast. It's another um, normies who don't watch movies <laughs> story. <laughs> so we have this thing called uh, called normies who don't watch. watch no, no, no. Well, I was gonna say we have this thing <laughs> yes, in our town called KW Glee. Okay. Which is like basically Wait, like a, it's like a music group of like. Basically. Is this at your school? Or no, this is in like this is like uh, it's like a third party thing, right? So okay. it's just like kids who are interested in singing and stuff, and they right. they have like a teenage group and a, a younger group, like a kids group, right? Okay. Anyways, yeah. and they just they they sing songs and stuff, and they do like um, musicals and things, right? I think or but anyways, um, uh, they were having a show, um, uh huh, and uh, the show was called um. Mixtape Volume One <laughs> in like the Guardians font and stuff. Oh, okay, I'm just like I was because I and I saw this in the line for um in, in like a service Ontario and like just kind of like a flyer for this right and then I I turned it down and I'm like ah oh, it's actually a awesome mix Volume One yeah but they probably can't call it that I know I know but like is awesome mix Volume One copyrighted like it must be now because you can. Because it's an actual no, album but like, that you could buy. It's like you didn't, like you're copying me from when I said Awesome Mix Volume One. Every like it's like it's like um it's just something people do though. It's like trying to copy. No, right? Yeah, but they like, sold an album called it, I guess, Awesome Mix Volume I know, One. I know, but this is like so it's, this is like it's a really like now. unofficial thing though. They could have at least like they could have tried a little harder. I mean, well, they can't just. Like I think groovy, it, groovy mix volume <laughs> one. Like you could have done, you could have tried to do like a crappy knockoff version. That's of, true. It's a just mixtape. It's so just mixtape. It's like mix tape ma- acting one. like I won't notice. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think that's the problem. Is it's just called mixtape mix volume one yeah. because it's like it's <laughs> uh, the most of one of what uh, seven hundred? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's, like it's the first mixtape of all. <laughs> <laughs> it's the very first mixtape ever recorded. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm saying. I'm just imagining like, like some guy, like there's like some guy, like, like, like there's some caveman and there's like, there's, there's a fire and then, and then one of them pulls up, like just lifts up the mixtape. It's, like, yeah. uh, it's like, I've just made the first Yeah, it's like the beginning of 2001. Except, <laughs> except it's a mixtape. He makes a mixtape. <laughs> he's hitting a stick against the ground and then, and then once he's like completed, like, it, it looks like a mixtape. It says mixtape volume one on it. Yeah. <laughs> and he throws it into space and it's and then, and then it starts spinning, and then that's the that's gonna be the opening scene of Guardians, Guardians Volume Two, definitely. I'm gonna say 1988, and then there's gonna be a gorilla with a stick. <laughs> you know, what, you know what my problem with that scene is? What? Okay, so everyone's like, everyone that talks about 2001 really likes it, and I thought it was fine. Yeah, I thought it was really long. Yeah. That's why I'm a little, but I'm a little like, like hesitant to watch like. Uh, Full Metal Jacket, which is right. a Stanley Kubrick nom film. But see, the thing is, with Stanley Kubrick movies, like each one is like totally different than mm-hmm. the, than the rest of them. Okay, so I think because you've seen two thousand one and The Shining, right? And The yeah. Shining, and also Doctor Strangelove, oh, okay. which is like one of his earlier movies. Yeah, which is a weird comedy about the Cold War. Oh, okay. And so like they're all it's totally, like a dark comedy, right? Like yes, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a dark comedy because it's. Like basically, the, it's like it's basically a satire. It's a satire yeah. of the Cold War yeah. and and stuff like that. Yeah, that's that's one of the, where the line um, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> um, yeah, but um, yeah, but my problem with uh, two thousand one is like everyone talks about oh when he throws the stick up and then it cuts it's the spaceship. It's like oh it's the greatest cut in, in cinema history because. 
oh, technology and then into the all the way into the future with the uh, spaceships and it's all it spans a million years of evolution. It's the greatest cut of all time. But it's not even that good of a cut because like the fucking thing is spinning yeah. and then it cuts to the ship which is moving like horizontally uh, but it and it doesn't even cut at the point where like the, the stick reaches the, the apex of the jump. It's in the same spot as where the ship is. It's like s- sort of near it. And it's like, oh, okay. it's like, oh, it's the greatest cut of all. It's like, but it's, it's, oh, it's get, an okay I get the cut. symbolism, but it's you, but you could have done like, it better. I think the, like the best cuts are the ones where like, oh, wait, that was a cut. <laughs> well, I feel like, yeah, this but was like, like you can, cuts. you can. With you, a could, cut. you could have done. See, a, you wanted it to be a harder cut. It was it, no. It sh- was it a fade or was it? No, it's a straight cut. Yeah, but it sh- but it doesn't line up because it's like you're cutting from one thing to you're cutting from a bone, which is used as a tool representing you know the start of human technology yeah. and like start of evolution or whatever, and then it cuts to a spaceship, which is like the peak of human technology. Yeah, right. But then it, but it. But where the, and it's supposed to be like, the bone is in the sky, and it's supposed to like, and it looks like it's supposed to cut and then line up with the, the spaceship, where the spaceship is in the frame, but it doesn't. Oh, okay. So it's like slightly off, but everyone goes on about how like the cut is so good. But, but really, but from, it, an, like, from an editing standpoint, from an editing it's standpoint actually like, it actually could have been better. Better, yeah. You know, <laughs> like, I think it's more like the, what the cut represents. Yeah, so oh, it's about what it represents. It's about like, it's like, is it the best? The best cut of all time, or is the best <laughs> cut of all time? Right. <laughs> you know, it's a good point. Like, uh, it's yeah. Anyways, whatever. It's it's a long movie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what I was gonna originally talk about. Right. I was gonna, I was trying to segue into something else, and then we just go on tangents because that's how we roll on this show. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, let's go back to the actual. Topic. The, the actual topic was speculation. We haven't seen the movie. We saw the. Um, the awesome mix uh, volume, volume two, two. is in, it's in out store. Now. It's out it's now in stores. And we were gonna. I was like, should we look at it? And you're like, no, it's a spoiler. <laughs> I'm like, you're right. And then I didn't. Yeah, touch I it. haven't. Yeah, yeah I haven't so, looked at the list, the track list. So songs today. that are confirmed for awesome wait mix for the movie. volume two, uh, ain't no mountain high enough. Right. Fox on the run was the trailer song. So I'm right. Just so that's probably that'll be. It's in probably the movie. there was another trailer song. Mm-hmm. For like the second trailer. Um, I don't. I didn't see that trailer. No, I saw. I saw. It. I totally. I. I couldn't name the song. Though. Like it was. It was like generic. Like in my brain, it's just like right. seventies. Whatever. Something seventies. Right? Something seventies ish. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. So. so uh, like, but like we're thinking, we were gonna speculate. Like, we're right speculating right on. on. Yeah, I was just looking up because they because they're all all the songs from in, like yeah. Pick songs that we like. And yeah, yeah. This song should be. In. Yeah, yeah. No. So all, but all songs from the the first one, they were all seventies. Yeah. All, so I've just, I just, I just 70s. typed into Google. If you type into Google this, you can like follow along. It'll be like an interactive, like nothing cast type thing, <laughs> like where it's like, it's like, it's like a like one of those tutorials or whatever. Oh, if you click this icon. <laughs> yeah. No. So if you just type into Google, um, in two thousand seventeen, <laughs> hit seventy, hit seventy songs, you'll get. Get, you'll get to the page that we're on. So, um, yeah, oh, it'll just it'll just yeah. pop up. Yeah, Google does this thing. Well, do you know? They just do you know? You um, wait, what's Night Fever? I don't know. I don't know. No. But if I heard it, I, I might it, know. Is it? it uh, it's by Saturday Night Fever. So. <laughs> wait, what's the song from um, the SNL sketch where they're um, they're just moving their heads in the cab? And they're just moving their heads everywhere. It's uh, like. I don't Baby, know. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't. I think it's that. What is love? I think it's that one. Is that song from the 70s? It's going to be fun. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Also, we're not experts. In yeah. 70s. No, we're not. We're not experts. And <laughs> no, we're not. Not at all. But I like, I think, I think I can make a case for more than a feeling. Because, okay. Yes. Because one, Go on. they, they, it's really good. Yeah. And number two is that. Uh, it's a 70s song. <laughs> and, um, the third point is that, uh, they had, like, um, a couple, like, most of the songs in The Last Guardians were, like, about love and stuff, and, right. in my opinion, more than a feeling, it's, like, the greatest love song of all time. Right. So, 
and I, I, I guess I, I've explained to you my justification for yeah, this like a billion times. But my, podcast, my, yeah. my thing, my, my justification for why it's the greatest love song of all time is that it's like, it's like yo, it's like all the time, all the time. It's like um, in these in these love songs, it's like oh, I like her because she's like smart and headstrong and independent or whatever, <laughs> right? They'll just describe some person, right? Yeah, and then this guy's like, they like about they'll describe what they like about the person or like, oh, they make me feel this. Or how they make them feel. Yeah, how they make them feel, right? And this guy says, no, no, no. It's more than a feeling. <laughs> he takes it a step further. I'm not just in love with him. I'm just more than that. that. It's more than that. Like, it's like, how do you even, what? Like, it's like, it's not just a bone. It's a spaceship. Like, it's like, it's like that, like, level it's of, like, like, like of, of it's, it's like 11. Like, it's like, it's like yeah. my feelings go to 11. Like, it's one louder. <laughs> that's, that's how I it's feel more. about the song. Like, it's that extra push over the cliff. Yeah. Like, right. So, also i just i love the song and i love the the guitar solo in it and i could imagine um uh chris pratt like beating up people to that guitar solo (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah also what i think is a good point for why this song should be in it yeah is it was in the trailer for uh inside out inside out yeah and it was a really good trailer yeah it's a really good trailer song and so it would be good in the movie also even though it wasn't in the trailers yeah, it's I'd still it's still has potential to be in the movie though because like most of the soundtrack for Guardians One wasn't in the trailers. The movie. No, only what one if, song. Okay, was what in if the tra- trailer? Because I know in um because of the first Guardians, uh-huh. it's a pretty like contained thing like within itself. I know it's got like the whole Infinity Stone, right. and Thanos, and like we're branching out there, but like it's not hard to follow. Like no, everyone wants the orb. Everyone wants the, the orb, right? <laughs> no, but like like the movie is pretty like self-contained because like at the beginning he, he's listening to the next tape and um he gets the second one at the beginning but he doesn't know it's the second one and then um, right. and then he's and he listens to it throughout the whole movie and you hear all the different songs and stuff and then at the end he gets the he he opens up the second, the second one, one right? the second one right and it's just it feels kind of like this like complete it's a complete arc it's, it feels like a complete arc like yeah. it's kind of so in how the do background you... in the background so i just hope in this next one they do like, like that, um, they don't like kind of, I feel like the, like the whole awesome X thing, it might take like a backseat in this one. I really don't want it to though. I, I still want it to be a forefront of his yeah. character and like, but like, cause that was, the, that's like most, that's like half of his character. In the but movie. yeah, but now that you're bringing that up, it's a trick. That's the tricky part thing is with sequels is ne- it's is, the same director though. Yeah. So. But like the tricky thing is like, where mm-hmm. does his art go from it? Yeah. Cause like. What the, was great about the first I think one they is do, the they soundtrack do like a, mm-hmm. yeah. was so influential with his character yeah. and with his arc as well. That they, yeah. that what, that's is his why arc, what is his arc in the first one? He becomes, he does, he's fucking becomes, never accepted that yeah. his mom died. Yeah, yeah. He's just been ignoring that, yeah. that thought his whole life. Yeah, and that's not, true. And not dealing with it. Yeah. So I guess it can work still because he's going to meet his dad in this one. Yeah, and it could be... So I think it also... If it represents... Do, um, if it can work <laughs> like with how he never knew his dad yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. If you so work, yeah, I think if you, you can still in that work, way, yeah. work yeah. Oh, that I want to see some scenes where, like, um, they're, like imagine them, like, them listening to music together. Like, Oh, yeah. Like, just, like, one scene like that where like, they're just like, it's like, this is a good one. It's like, oh, yeah, and they're just, like, rocking out. Right, right? And yeah. then the title card comes. <laughs> 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 right? That's I want well, that to be... Yeah. That yeah. is... That, that's a short movie. <laughs> that's a pretty short movie. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, the, the title card in the first Guardians. Like that though, but like yeah, but I don't think he's gonna meet his dad, and then they're gonna be no completely. Well, I do want to see gonna be peachy keen. I, I kind of, I kind of want to see the. Because then, what do you go from? I there? want them to do the like, uh, like a like. What do you how how do you think they're gonna do his dad though? Like, well, is it gonna be like like just from, him? But like, <laughs> okay, her? Like, so they've already confirmed who his dad is. Yeah. yeah. It's Kurt Russell. I don't know what it is in the comics though. So okay, it's diff in the comics. I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to know like anything. Though. Okay, because they they said what character he's playing, and it's a different. I have done zero research. Okay, so they've said he's this one character from the comics, yeah, and it's a different character than who Star Lord's dad is in the comics. It's also like okay, I don't know how that character could have been his dad because there's no way that that character could have mated with a human. 
Oh, okay. So, so they're definitely shame, taking some liberties. With so, yeah, one, they're taking some liberties, but then also they've shown, like, pictures of Kurt, him, uh, of, of Kurt like, Russell. Kurt Russell in the role, and he just looks like he regular just, he Kurt looks Russell. Like Russell right? So, I don't know how they're going to yeah. do that. No, but I mean, but like, we'll see. Also, because, like, a lot of the, like, because, like, you look at the Zandarians, they basically mm-hmm. look like Terrans. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they, they kind of establish that aliens are just whatever, right? Yeah, most of the aliens in Guardians of the Galaxy are yeah. human-looking, yeah, yeah. but, like, slightly different. Yeah. Oh, these ones are blue, and, like, yeah, that's... Okay. And, oh, this okay. is... Something that's... Okay, the last time... Like okay, yeah. one, one... Before I get completely sidetracked... Yeah. I, I've got another discussion topic, but... um, the, uh, Just back to his character arc in the mixtape and stuff, I think that um, uh, and this one could also be... I feel like they're going to f- try to flush out, like, the, like romance with him and Gamora, right? Yeah, and because it's, it, I feel like I'm actually gonna really enjoy that because I like both of those characters, <laughs> and I like how they're gonna do, like how like where True. they're going with that, where it's not really like it's not really like a, like a central part of the first plot, but like it's just a great thing for both of those characters though, because like they there's like that right. scene where they almost kiss and then she like pulls a knife on him. Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> Uh, it's just oh, it's such a good movie. Well, yeah, because there it's just like you just kind of want to hook up with her. Yeah, but like now they actually know each other. Yeah, and so like he actually. But you can tell that. But and that scene though, where it's so. like it's like oh, it's like you're you love her or whatever. It's like you can tell that they're definitely like not together. Yeah, but, like or and like may- maybe they were for a time. Right. Yeah. Like, like, he, like and like maybe. so he's probably and maybe he's just like slimy and stuff like because maybe because like he's still he's still still kind of an ass right like (laughs) even though he's a good guy he's still kind of an asshole because like at the end (laughs) he he lies to his friend by he like switches out the orb on him and puts it gives him a troll doll yeah i know that was the i know that was technically the right thing to do but like (laughs) he did it in like a pretty dick way like like, it's a good oh man he's gonna be so pissed when when yeah 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 Yeah, like that's yeah (laughs) yeah but it, it looked like in that scene like he was like he, he's like ah, that was a good one. Yeah. You got me there, Star Lord. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not, not. I'm not talking like about Yondu. Though. I'm talking about um, Star Lord, though. And so what I, okay, so what I wanted to get into was the last time I saw Guardians, like a week ago. Um, I was watching it. I'm just like, wait a minute. Like, what are all the strength ratings of the MCU characters? Because like Gamora yeah. has super strength, kind right. of. There's a scene where she, um... Right, she's, uh, like, she, enhanced. She's, like, enhanced, right? So she, like, can, like, break out of Groot's, uh, sticks. Uh, she can <laughs> right. jump super far in the right. prison scene. Right. Uh, and she can, like, be electrocuted and take a bit of a beating. Like, because uh-huh. she gets electrocuted by Nebula. And she, so she's pretty... She's, like, fairly durable. Right. Drax is also super strong. Yeah. And can, like, punch people and stuff. <laughs> and, like, I don't really know what the limits of his strength are. They kind of... Like, he can rip apart metal and, like... Right, yeah. Other he, stuff. He can... <laughs> and then Ronan is also super strong, but he's stronger than Drax without the gem. Right. And okay, then... Yeah. And then... Well, he's... And he's also a Kree. And he's a Kree. Are the so Kree I don't know if that's stronger a, than I don't know if the, regular humans? So, like, I don't know... That, but he but Drax like isn't strong. a regular human, though. No. And also, like... He, Ronin seems like he's stronger than normal Kree. Yeah, he seems like uh, like so, yeah, like a, like Kree on steroids. Kind of thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like I've taken the ancient steroids and is and, there like and so th- I will enthrone a thousand years of Kree justice on right. whatever. Is they're like bigger than humans, right? Yeah, they're like a he's, little he's a little taller kind of. than Drax. But I don't know if that's just because Dave Bautista is short. Like I don't right. Well, Dave Bautista himself is also pretty jacked. So. He's really jacked. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that, like, but I feel like. Drax, he's like the only kind of his species in the movie. I think. It seems like it. I, th- I forget what he is in the yeah. comics. No, but he's not that in the movie. Yeah, it's he's slightly different. He likes, or they just changed the time. But anyways, or, yeah, or, so I was, starting, or so I was thinking about that, right? <laughs> then also Nebula's kind of strong, right? Yeah, but she's and more then, like cybernetic. And then, but then like, but these think about this: Captain America is in this universe, right? <laughs> <laughs> so is Thor. So is Thor. And so is the Hulk. Yeah. Well, Hulk's it's, probably the strongest. Yeah. And then it's, so is Winter Soldier. Right. So is, like, Black Panther. <laughs> Black Panther, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. It's, like, these uh, all, literally every, like, I don't think Black, I don't know if Black Panther has super strength, but, like. Not really. He, has he like, seems, he's, he's got, like, he's, like, immune to all diseases and poisons and, like, stuff like that. Like, <laughs> he? No, that's a thing from the comics, is oh, that, like, okay. he's immune to all well, he poisons. Has, 
Um, his like panther agility, <laughs> something. <laughs> no, but anyways, it power. just seems like, it's like how are all these? Like it just seems like a lazy like. It's like this character has super strength. Like they're just kind of, oh, they're just tossing, they're they just, just handing it out. They just now. give it like what Max Landis says. They give this stuff out like candy. <laughs> yeah, super strength, and vulnerability, flight. Uh, they just give that out. Like no, but it just seems kind of like I don't know what. Like it just doesn't like. It's like oh, this guy's super strong. It just doesn't have an effect on me anymore. The MCU. Like oh well. It, you mean like it's kind of meaningless? It's, it's kind of meaningless. It's like, it's so like I'm, I'm super strong. It's like, well, it's like Red Skull was super strong. Like, it's like well, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like Ant Man. I'm not strong, but I am when I'm small. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, because Vision well, is super strong also because of density. Is that, is, okay, I think where they all stack up against each other though. I think there's a difference Vision, between okay, Vision and Ant Man are about as strong as each other. I would say, but Ant Man would be. Like, but Vision well, can Vision can do change it. His density, Vision's so. basically Ant Man without like the anting. <laughs> like he can. Vision's, Vision's just a better version of Ant Man. Like Vision, yeah, he shoots lasers, can fly, and yeah. like walk through walls. So he's walls. basically like um, Ant Man can shrink and talk to ants. The powers yeah. are totally different. Yeah, Ant Man doesn't use any ants in the airport fight for some reason. Yeah, I'm, I guess there wasn't any around. <laughs> no, but like in uh, Earth's Finest Heroes. <laughs> They go to, like, nuclear ravage Earth, and he finds a bunch of cockroaches. That's true. He just finds a bunch of bugs. Like, there's bugs everywhere. There should be bugs everywhere. There should be ants everywhere. Maybe it's just too hard to, like, incorporate them into the Like, because everyone's flying all over the place. Yeah. And so, he's like, uh... Yeah. No, if you put, like, ants know. inside of I guess there's flying ants, suit. though, too. But, like, that was really know. funny, though. He's like, oh, you're gonna have to take this into the shop. <laughs> like, everyone only was allowed, like, one cool thing to do, and his cool thing was growing giants. What so, was, like, uh, couldn't use ants also. Okay. But, Name everyone's cool thing. Okay. Ant Man grows giant. Yeah. Uh Spider Man spins webs. Uh <laughs> I thought it was the catching of the The catching the thing. The 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 rock the, the run the walk away thing, the thing that connects the airplane to the airport. Yeah. I don't know what that's that. called, but he catches that. He goes up uh what's his name? Has a metal arm. Um <laughs> Winter Soldier is a metal arm. That's his Soldier. cool moment. Yes. That's, that's Winter Soldier's cool Hawkeye's moment. Hawkeye shoots Ant Man on the. Yeah, they're yeah. mostly Ant Man moments. <laughs> Ant Man throws a truck at them. <laughs> or Cap throws a truck. One of them throws a truck. No, no, Ant Man. Rhodey no. gets shot. Ant Man throws the truck. <laughs> Ant Man throws the truck. Why? Uh, Captain America throws the disc at it. Uh, Actually, if he missed oh, the truck and Hawkeye. Okay. Hawkeye goes, My name's Clint. And then. Uh, <laughs> Black Panther Black says, goes, I don't okay. care. <laughs> That's his moment. <laughs> Black Panther's moment. You're terrible at pitching things. <laughs> I'm okay, what's, what's Black Panther's moment? I don't know, like? Dan. It was your statement. That's why I'm asking you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I fully agree with that. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm trying to find all the cool moments. Um, I, don't know, I don't know if Black Widow really has a cool moment. Black Widow's she gets like knocked Black over Widow by Ant-Man, and then she gets knocked over by Scarlet Witch. That's like her two things. That Black she Widow fights uh, Hawkeye, Hawkeye and, she, and they're like, we're still friends, right? And then she's like, depends, depends on how hard, says, hard, hard you hit me. So there's her moment, and then, whatever line she said. And then and Scarlet Witch... Throws Scarlet her away, and then just does and then, and her then she just yeah she just does her powers. That's any scene with Scarlet Witch is like yeah that was cool. Um, she and like probably saves everyone like several times. <laughs> yeah, no, because there's a scene where like, Black Panther's like about away. to like like rip out Bucky's thorax, and then <laughs> she just like grabs his claw and then right. throws him through a box. Exactly. Um, and is that all of them? Oh, well, I say Captain America's cool moment. I like the part Fire where he does Man. the flippy thing against Spider Man. Yeah. He does, like, the Winter Soldier, like, big flip thing yeah. to kick down... Uh, he does that to kick War Machine into the ground. Right, the right. As well. <laughs> well. Yeah, mostly mostly they're Ant-Man moments. <laughs> mostly it's just Ant-Man. <laughs> Ant-Manning. Uh, yeah, that's... that's that's. Uh, but, but most of them get, like, things to do during that time. Yeah. <laughs> what were we talking about? Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Well, I th okay, I was going to say about your super strength point. Yeah. I think there's a difference between super strength and enhanced strength. And most people in, like, the MCU have, like, enhanced strength. But I think only a few actually have super strength. Like, Hulk, Spider-Man, Thor. They have, like, super strength. Where it's, like, they're... Yeah. 
I think Hulk is Hulk is highest on the Hulk is the highest no matter what Hulk is highest. Um, Um, But then there's like Asgardian whatever that we're gonna toss in. How strong is an Asgardian? Like not stronger than a person. I know. But like that's just another strength scale. Like, well, I would, I would almost say super go? strength because because like if you like enhanced strength, I would say like you could maybe what's uh, what's something heavy? I don't know, like a motorcycle. You can lift like a motorcycle probably. Okay. I could probably lift them. No, I can. But I mean, motorcycles are like pretty heavy, like a thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> okay. <laughs> At yeah. least. No, I don't car, know. Like, a car is like a ton. Let's, let, do you yeah. want to rank it on car lifting? Yeah, that's what I mean. Because, yeah, yeah, like, Spider Man can lift a car. Yeah, Spider Man can lift a car. But, like, he can't no, he lift two cars. cars. <laughs> yeah, no, I remember um, Solid could lift, the, like, a. Because the, there's a scene in um, Civil War where he's like, oh, this many, like, pounds, uh, that speed, and you stop yeah. it, like, in this many seconds. Someone did the math on that. It's like, yeah, Spider Man's, like, really strong. Right, yeah, we <laughs> so, actually do the math of that. It's like. Yeah. And like the, also they calculated the the weight of the the airplane walkway or whatever. And right. like although it's like he's struggling to lift it up, he's still holding it like mm-hmm. the same way you get portage a canoe. When it's well, like yeah, because like canoe. there's been po- times where like Spider Man's like holding a building up, but like it really starts for him. <laughs> yeah, well, Spider Man's strength seems to be whenever the comp- whatever the writers feel like. Well, know. that's what it is, but like. But it is there's, there's a set limit to it. That's though. what it always is. It's no, but I feel like Spider Man. Spider Man always feels kind of like. Like he's made of paper whenever he's fighting, like a really strong, like yeah, really because he's not bulletproof. No, no, I know. Like, like if he gets shot, he'll die. Yeah, but like, how come he can stop a car though? Like, is <laughs> that like <laughs> because it's it's bigger? Like he's not invulnerable. Like yeah. he's he's still made of flesh. Yeah, I guess. You so. know the MythBusters, where they're like, what if muscles are bulletproof? They're not. You can't. Yeah. You can have like the most muscles possible. Like they do like a huge fucking really thick thing of just muscle, and it's still. Bullets go all Was it flex though? <laughs> oh, gotta they gotta redo that myth. Huh? Yeah, they better redo that one. Was it flex muscles? Was it flex? Flex <laughs> muscles are more dense, <laughs> <laughs> like Ant Man. Huh? <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. So, so I say yeah. yeah. So, but what about like um, like how strong is Captain America? Because well, he, he, just, he seems like he's just a little stronger than a regular he's, dude. He's and like there was like infinitely more but research and time wasted on trying to re- replicate Captain America, even though he's just like a little stronger. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yes. you look at the MCU. You gotta get on that on that. Like, Hulk. You like, gotta get on that Hulk. Uh, get on that Hulk serum. That Hulk serum. Or or, or start mass stronger. producing radioactive spiders. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, exactly. No, but wasn't the Amazing Spider-Man two? It's like, oh, your genes are special, so that if you ever accidentally got bit by one of these spiders, you would get superpowers. <laughs> Isn't that a scene in the Amazing Spider-Man two? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like, li- his like, dad I, I've only seen that movie his, once, but he, he did his that DNA right, and then he's like crying and stuff, and he's like, DNA. oh my gosh, I'm a Spider-Man. Uh, <laughs> it's like that's like half the movie. It's just him crying because he's Spider-Man. Yeah, I think that's all. Like, that's probably the worst scene in the movie. <laughs> Other goes, than you know, he uses a secret bus token to go to the find the secret of underground fun bus subway tokens in, a, in a calculator, and then he puts the <laughs> when he puts the thing. <laughs> it's like such comic book device. <laughs> it's pretty comic booky, but it's also that doesn't make it good though. Like, yeah. I don't know. Is the Amazing Spider-Man two just like pure trash? Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I only saw it, it once. Yeah, and I, when I first saw it, I really liked it. It's because you like Spider-Man. Your bias is all shit. You know what? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, filmmaking perspective, it's kind of trash, like, a little bit. Like, maybe just a little bit. Like, like it's not, like, they, they use the, yeah. when I heard they used the Harry Potter strategy for filming, I'm like, that's terrible. Like, never Oh, do making that. it up as you go? No, no, no. <laughs> just shooting a bunch of stuff. And then trying to and make And hoping you can make it a movie out of it. Like, yeah, but that's not even, like, see, that's why I feel bad okay. for it. Okay. The movie, because it, it's not even their fault. Like, I know Sony, it's not. That was I know all it's pressured not. from Sony. I know it doesn't matter whose fault it is. The fact is that it exists the way yeah. it does. I don't know. Okay, so here, I just came up with a good question. What's better edited, Suicide Squad or The Amazing Spider-Man? The Amazing Spider-Man movies. What? What makes you say 100%. That? No, just the second one. The, the first second one. The first one is better editing. Because the second one, it still has a story. Yeah. The story is, like, nonsense. But it's there. Oh yeah, so there's, like, and there's is, character is, motivation. There's character motivation. There's, there's character, character arcs. Yeah, there's like motivate. Yeah, there's reasons can, for the things that are yeah, happening. You could probably the edit are movie. Dumb. You could probably re-edit that movie. Pretty yeah, well. you totally could fix that movie. Yeah. It would be so hard to fix Suicide Squad because like it's broken as shit. Like they didn't. Yeah. 
there's no like reason for anything happening. What, and if like, they, if any- they were, if the, uh, they should have just like it's like oh, a world-ending event. Who do we call? Well, Batman probably. I mean, I Batman, Batman and Wonder Woman. I mean, they stopped Doomsday, Wonder right? Woman, Didn't yeah. they stop Doomsday? Like exactly. They, you'd probably like, want them. It sh- it should be it should just be like oh, this is a thing they got to stop. Like, oh, they got to stop the Joker. That's what the movie should be. But, like, no, no they didn't I do think, that. I think the movie should have been, like, it should have been something, like, really, like, dirty and scummy. Exactly! Yeah. Like, they go to, like, they like they put them in, like, Afghanistan. Yeah. And they, like, stop some, like, warlord or something. And then they, like, after yeah, but they the have mission. To, like, no, but after the mission, it's, like, because, yeah, they have to, like, they kill, like, to do something, like, really, like, <laughs> shitty and stuff. And then it's, like, and then, like, um, so, like, they, they kill the, and then, like, maybe the warlord is, like, um, I feel like it's, like, like, he's, like, actually, like, like, he's, like, on, like, the side of, like, the people who are somewhat good and stuff, but, like, Deadshot just has to kill him anyways, and right. like, and I just, like, feel like it's, like, wow, that was garbage, and then she's, like, welcome to the United States government, and then, like, that's the movie, and it's, like, wow, that's, like, really scummy, like, it's just, yeah. it's, really, it's just, like, this, like, really, like, it's just these assholes being shitty and doing shitty things, like, and <laughs> exactly. that's, and they, like, I want, like, a, like, you do, like, most, like, the movies, like, you have one of them get their head blown up right away. You have another one like die right away, right? Because it's the Suicide Squad. For the right. Suicide yeah, Squad, the only part that was suicidal was when that guy started running away and then his head blew up. Like <laughs> it didn't seem like the mission was that. Yeah, the impossible. mission wasn't really suicidal. Impossible. No, it should I be mean, like, it, it should be like a mission impossible. Like, it was because and, they're like going up against the magic god. No, they with, should have gone up against it's like, it's like you have to take out like this like, entire <laughs> terrorist organization. Have fun. And yeah. then it's like and then they find out as they're doing it, it's like no, these aren't the terrorists. These are the people fighting the American government. Right, yeah. Invading oh, wait, it turns out these home. guys are actually the good guys. These are actually the good in guys. In their they, country. In but... some way, one way or another, they're actually the good guys in their country. Yeah, And yeah. then they're just, but they but they pose an opposition to America making money. Yeah, so they have to kill them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and I want there to be, like, a scene where, like, not quite, quite like, full-on farmhouse, but, like, where there's just a bunch of, where the Suicide Squad, they're basically cornered, like, holed up in a house. Right. And they're just, like, they're just, like, like, what do we even do? Like, what are we even doing? Like, this is just dumb. Like, <laughs> like they just kind of, like, and they have, like, some good, like, conversations and stuff. But oh, but the movie did have the good conversation. No, 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 it's not the bar were, scene, Danny. Remember they were in it's the bar the, scene? It's, like, partway through an action scene. The movie doesn't grind to a halt. Like, and, they, and it's more just kind of like a, it's more just kind of like, because the movie's going to be, like, this nonstop, like, action throw ride. And then it just kind of takes a break, and they're like, hold on. What are we even doing? Like, <laughs> like, like, in, like, the, like, I'm, the city is flying. Okay. The city is flying. flying. We're fighting an army of robots. And and I have a bow and arrow. arrow. None, None of this makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what I mean, though, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> that would have been like I just want, like, you know, because it's, it's just like good like character moments and stuff. That's like the perfect opportunity. And then it's like, fine, I guess we'll just try to make it out of this alive because we're really like, right? You could even start the movie with that scene, like, right? Like, yeah, even be like Dead Chuck just kind of crawls behind like a thing, and it's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I don't even. No. It's like who's who? What are we shooting at? Like you know, how, I don't know. They're gonna blow up our heads if if we don't like like do this thing, right? Do do plot device that doesn't make any sense right now because there's no context on this yet. We just started watching the movie. You know how you're supposed to start a story yeah. like as yeah. close to the end as possible. That that was what Mr. That's what Mr. Galley quote. Well, right? that's you don't have to follow. That's that. one idea in how you should do a story. Yeah. yeah. Well. You know, Suicide Squad would have been a lot better if they started 45 minutes into the movie. Yeah. That would have made it a better oh, movie. Yeah. You know, you know what else would have been a better movie about it? Is if once they get to the bar and they're like, fuck it, we're not going to be a Suicide Squad, we're just going to go to the bar. And he's like, okay, well, you're all dead now. He blows them all up. <laughs> and then the movie ends. And then the movie ends. <laughs> The All movie. my friends are even steak. <laughs> it's like, it just like starts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll make a bunch of like alternate cuts for Suicide Squad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like shitty special effects and stuff. <laughs> you know, we should make like an abridged version. Like a ten minute long. A ten like, minute where they just all blow up. <laughs> they just all blow up and then the movie ends. Yeah. You cut out most of the first Okay, well this is, okay, this is great part in the actual in the New 52 comic, Suicide Squad, where it's one of their early missions. They go to, like, this place that's been, like, invaded by, like, a zombie-type virus. And so what they do is there's this one guy with, like, electricity powers. So they get him to, like, zap all the zombies so that they die. And that kills them. And then once they killed all the zombies in 
the place. Yeah. Um, Deadshot kills him, yeah. like the electric guy. Yeah. And then they just blame it on him. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, and like the, the, the government's like, oh, this one supervillain got loose and killed all these people. <laughs> <laughs> luckily, luckily, we killed him. So, uh, problem, crisis averted. Oh, and I think gosh. it was like a military like virus that like got <laughs> out too. So like they were just cleaning up their own yeah. mess. So like that's the kind of shit the Suicide Squad is yeah. is for. Because they're, you know? they're not like none of them have like are particularly like strong or like no yeah. on the super strength scale. Super Killer Croc is the only one I could put right. In. And like um, Killer Croc should have been King Shark too. So yeah. what a wait! Like I, they really should have had. King Shark because he's a way more fun character. He's just a guy, a giant shark <laughs> man. Well, no, Killer, Killer Croc Croc's is like, so funny in the Batman the Animated series. Like, yeah, because you know, he's got like this running gag of throwing a rock at him. <laughs> yeah. like, that's all he does. <laughs> like he, he's self aware of that. <laughs> you know what I've done? I was throwing a rock at him. <laughs> this <is> great episode <laughs> where like everyone, all the villains are like playing poker and they're talking about like that's uh. Almost got him. Right? Almost got him. Yeah. yeah, they're talking about like the yeah, time yeah. that they yeah, almost yeah, yeah. killed Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. And Killer Croc is like, like once I threw a rock at him. <laughs> but the funny thing about that is that that was Batman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a twist! <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good answer. Yeah, the giant penny. <laughs> How did he get out of the giant penny phrases? What? The one where he's strapped to a giant. Penny. How did he? I think he just undid the knot or like a, he had a. Gadget in his utility yeah. belt or something. I mean, that was really funny, bro. That's so <laughs> comic booky. Like, it's like we've strapped you to a giant penny. I'm going to catapult it. Yeah. yeah. It's like heads. Heads, heads you die. Heads, tails you die break tails. all your bones. It's, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I don't know if that math checks out. Uh, Do you know, I want to see like an alternate universe <laughs> Batman where he survives that trap. He doesn't escape, but he's broken all of his <laughs> all bones. His bones. <laughs> So he's just like a wheelchair Batman. Like. <laughs> well, he'd just get better. Because you know? all you need is uh, an old guy in a cave. To yeah. No, but he's like got real like your back. He's like double cane Batman. Like, double <laughs> he's Batman, cane. but he just hits it like he's just like, he's got like two canes. Like, Walker Batman or walk like double cane? Like two canes. Like, <laughs> he just hits people with them. <laughs> so they're more efficient for fighting, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any? Uh, do you have any other uh, ideas of what uh, what seventies music? You oh want yeah, to be right that right. Right. <laughs> um, I was looking here. Um, I don't know if they'd ever play the full length song in a movie, but uh, I saw that "Stairway to Heaven" was on uh, this list of seventies uh, hits. Nice. Yeah, so that'd be, a that'd be that's a, that's a, that's an easy one. Oh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like Suicide Squad kind of ruined that song for me. Actually, I think you're right. <laughs> I feel like no, it shouldn't be in that just because of Suicide Squad. Yeah, it's they, like they it takes one movie. Yeah, for that we can listen to that like for that song can be used properly in a movie. Yeah. You know what the worst part about the Suicide Squad <laughs> soundtrack is it's the Wayne's World soundtrack. <laughs> 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 no, they just play songs randomly during scenes. Yeah, they don't even. They're not even cut to the music. They're not even cut to the music. They're not like the like a, they're not even like music video like. Oh, okay. Cut yeah. to the pace of the music. Yeah. Or or have anything to do with the scene, or like fit the scene even tonally. No. You know? Like is this the one? Wait, was there? Doesn't they don't they play some like like a random song when Deadshot like is shooting all the targets and stuff? And yeah. you're supposed to be like. Wow, he's, he's so like, cool. Wow, he's so, so good. Cool. He can shoot the same spot over and over again. But then it's like, wait a minute, they gave him real bullets? How dumb are they? He could kill all of them and escape right now. I wanted him to do that so badly. Yeah, but... Like, my version of that scene is he kills everyone in that room. He shoots Amanda Waller. She's a hologram. <laughs> <laughs> he tries to get out. He's locked in the room. Yeah. And then Amanda Waller's watching from, like, a one-way mirror. Like, yeah. great. That's perfect. <laughs> I, 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 need, pumps, I need to get rid of those guys. she pumps the room full of nerve gas. Yeah, yeah. She's like, like, I need to get rid of those guys anyway. Like, I, like, she, like, like, those are all neck neck guys who, like, have, like... Um, like they were just like guys she either just didn't like or, 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 was gonna, like or she was gonna fire them. Or, yeah, yeah. So she's like, yeah, that's what happens when you disobey me. You get locked in a room with dead shot. Yeah, and that would have been awesome. Or they're um, oh, even better. 
What? Okay, you know how she has to like talk to that board of directors and try to convince them that the Suicide mm. Squad is a good idea, yeah. even though it's like the worst idea ever. Yeah, maybe it's all those guys, and she's like <laughs> kills them to advance her plans. Yeah, so now she's the only like she's the highest ranking government. It's like as the highest ranking government, whoever. You're the, yeah. uh, I guess you get to go, because you say you can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess I can make my Suicide Squad now that ever, everyone who opposed me is, is killed. That's the Hitler strategy. And then she can be like, oh man, this fucking supervillain, Death, what's his name, Deadshot, Deathshot. <laughs> Deathshot. <laughs> he killed all those, uh, all those uh, other government guys. How dare he? Oh man, it really sucks to be them. Aren't supervillains the worst? <laughs> Good thing I've got control of them in my prison or whatever. Unless it's a different good child. Yeah. What's that's that one super called? weird because this is it and this is says Awesome X Volume One. This isn't in the first movie. So I don't I, this is like obvi- this is a mess is it wait oh is it? I'll be there. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, but regardless, I have the whole. Soundtrack. That's that's um. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, that's a child. Sorry, it's lined up. Oh, I'm just dumb. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um. Right. I think. Yeah. No, I'm just Whoops. dumb. Don't know how pictures work. Apparently. <laughs> Yike. <laughs> um, um. Any other songs? Oh, like? uh, September. I like that one. Remember? It's the one they use in the, the at the end of the night at the museum. It's like party on da, 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 September. <laughs> you know that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, do, I do know. Yeah, that yeah. One. that'd be good for like the end of the movie. Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, that'd be I fun. Feel like over you got so. yeah, probably. Like they, they, they use like about, a lot of obscure what was ones. Great about yeah. volume one is like it was mostly songs that I hadn't heard. Yeah, and like, but now I like them. Do, <laughs> do I go into early '80s territory? Yeah, because we can use up to 1988. Yeah, is that correct? yeah, yeah. Technically, because that's before yeah. he left. Oh, the sweet movie. dreams! <laughs> sweet dreams are made I know that was already in Apocalypse. I mean, yeah. Ooh, Billy Jean, they that's 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 classic. Oh yeah, good. Ooh, enough. girls just want to have fun. Imagine they they can do they can do something really good with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These are these are much more 80s. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> living on a prayer. Oh gosh, 80s has like every good song. <laughs> 80s has every good song. Except because, for more than a few. Because our parents grew up in the 80s. No, I like <laughs> I so like a lot of this music, okay? 80s music. Also, all of our media is, is created by people who grew up in the 80s. Yeah. No, I mean, this is all solid 80s. Look, wake me up before you go to Wham. Wham. <laughs> oh, sweet child of mine. You know, you know how that song starts. Probably. Because they play it right on uh, the one radio station. The one local radio station used it for the beginning of like all their segments without actually playing the song. Oh, okay. It goes like, nah, 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 nah. oh fuck! It. I'll just play it. <laughs> uh, I, I, know, I believe you. You definitely heard the beginning of the song before. <laughs> you'll be, you're gonna hear it. You'll be like, oh, that thing. Oh, that song. Yeah, just gotta wait. Oh, frick. <laughs> this sucks. So, uh, well. One other uh, song that I thought would be kind of cool is there's a Beatles song called Rocky Raccoon. Oh, okay. And it's what Rocket Raccoon was based on. Yeah, if you put that in the... It's if like a... Put that in, that's like a... It's like a kind of like a callback to... Uh, an Easter it's, like the, it's like the song, create the character, and name the character's advertising the song. How about that? The uh, circle is complete. Know. Now, I am that's the master. Rec- Sweet, you are. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, the yeah, see. 91 Vibe Classic Rock. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Radio station. <laughs> <laughs> now with the sports. <laughs> <laughs> yo, imagine, like... A, yo, basically, we basically just run a radio station for the announcements at camp. So we do weather and we do sports. We do weather and we do sports. That's why there's no mood report. Because radio people don't care about movies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyone who listens to the radio is normal who doesn't watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> just general. Just in general. Well, I think radios. Is, I'm you surprised know, radios still exist. <laughs> yeah. To be honest. I mean. 
Like, you know like, why I listened to the radio the last time I drove a car? <laughs> I was too lazy to pull out the aux cord. <laughs> like, I was too lazy to hook it up to my phone. Well, like, so I had to take my iPod. Take my take my iPod off the internet. To take my iPod out of its case to hook it up to the aux cord, right? So I yeah. just don't feel like doing that. It's kind so of the, it wasn't worth it for the length of the drive. So it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of amazing that. Like, I still kind of get why cable television work. It still exists. Yeah, because you want to be able to see it, like, as it comes out. As it comes out. And, like, a lot of people watch just people. There's a lot of people that don't watch TV but put TV on. But yeah. they just have it on in the background. Uh, uh, something, like, while they're eating food or whatever. Yeah, I guess that's fun. As more of, like, an, I guess it's more of an atmospheric thing. I don't know. Or, like, sports. <laughs> top, sports is huge. Top five atmospheric films. Stars of Substance. Did you see me? Uh, yeah, what are your top five atmospheric What are my? Or are yeah, you... I was just thinking of what are your top five atmospheric films? Like films you would just put on, like, oh, like, and talk to people in a room with. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like, you don't actually care about what's going on. But if, you, if there's a lull in the conversation, so then you can watch it. Something interesting will be happening and you'll be I able don't to know. follow it. Because, like, Batman movies that and I Robin. put on. Batman and Robin. The movies uh, that I watch with people, I watch because, like, they're good movies and yeah. I like them and I, I like to enjoy them with people. I don't know. That's tricky. Yeah. Cause like putting on a movie, movie. No. like, you know, it's, you, you don't put on a really good movie yeah. because then you're just going to watch it. Yeah. You know, I don't, so I don't know. I don't even, cause I don't even like that kind of genre of, of atmosphere. I don't even know. Do you have any like where you're like, Oh Yeah. Just put this movie on while we're having a party or whatever, or like, um, as like I'm some gonna... as like background noise. Because uh, like, um, I don't know. Because like, I mean, uh, movies. I guess that I've seen a lot, where like, like we'll put on Star Wars Episode Three. Because why not? And yeah. we'll just like talk through the whole movie yeah, because we, we've seen it. We're not missing time. anything. No. We've seen the movie a bunch of times. Too many times. And we're not. I guess that one then. Episode yeah, three. Episode that's, three. That's my favorite. That's, I said that. that. I, I mentioned it before. Oh, that's why I thought of that one. Yeah. Um, I like that one. Yeah. Best. So movies that aren't that good, I guess. <laughs> yeah, movies that kind of suck. And that you've seen a bunch. Yeah. The X Men movies. Uh, most of them. Any? Where like I don't I don't care. If I any talk fast. About it. Any Fast and Furious. Any five, yeah. Any Fast and Furious movie. Yeah. Where you can just be like, well, this is ridiculous. <laughs> or just any of them? Like, even like the... Yeah. Now, Tokyo Drift is like a... It's very... Yeah, it's very... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the people really I watch... I watched that all the way through. Watch watched Tokyo Drift. <laughs> yeah. No, I did too. It's funny. I mean, Are they all still on Netflix? I don't know. We found like a, a legal... No, screen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they were all on Netflix for a while, so I was like, So that's why I don't know who like, all the legal <laughs> If like if I got caught watching Tokyo Trip, I'd just be like, oh, well. <laughs> like you got caught. Like it's like, oh, no. like <laughs> oh, like by the police. Yeah, like, by the police like, some, no, like, by the police. Like, like when, the wa- when your parents come home and you're watching <laughs> Tokyo <laughs> Trip, <laughs> I can explain. <laughs> I was just watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> it was nothing. It was nothing too racy. <laughs> it's like when Chang gets the. Hand goes taken away for them. For him. Yeah. I swear those were just for the sex. sex. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> yeah, Scott. I mean, like Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I guess that's another atmosphere. Yeah, but like, I watch that though. Like, but like, I'm not like. But when I because yeah. like we'll watch that with like friends who have seen it already. But yeah. it's not like you're talking over it, like, just because you're enjoying it. It's more like you're just quoting the movie as it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. So, wait, were you there when a bunch of people, like, can't watch it? Uh, or were you working? I, I watched, yeah, I must have, well, I watched it at least twice at camp. Yeah. So, probably. Yeah. No, because we were watching it with a bunch of normies who don't watch movies, right? Right. So, a lot of them didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of like, like well, this is so weird. Why is this movie so weird? But, like, to be fair, it's a really weird movie. Oh, I know. And like, also, like, I didn't like it, it like, that much the first time I saw yeah, it. Yeah. So. No, I, I liked it the first time I saw I, it. I, I enjoyed it, but I, like I didn't. The, but I don't. But now I love it. You yeah, know? yeah, I don't know. I liked so it, it's though. Different. Like, I, I liked all the, like, Canadian stuff. I think I really appreciate it for that. Like, when, like, when right, he yeah. kills the first guy, and he gets a bunch of Canadian coins. <laughs> like, every yeah. time he kills someone, he gets Canadian coins. But see, like, 
that isn't funny anymore when I watch it. No, I don't but find, I find it funny, but I still that's think it's interesting. I think it's great. Though. Like whenever I show someone new it, like they laugh at like when it goes video game mode and like he starts, it's like versus and it has all the like retelling no, 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 no. and all that like, stuff. Why? That's, not, that's not funny. What's funny is the because rest like of, that's the so movie funny. is so chock block full of jokes that like yeah. you can't even see. But like that's I forget that that's a joke also yeah. because like the first time you see that like oh it's hilarious it's just like a video game right you're like oh that's funny. But, like, once you've seen it a million times... You're kind of desensitized. It just... Yeah. Like, that's just the that's just the world. You yeah. know? Like, it just... It's the same as, like... Oh, like, like, how they look. I love the like, PR thing, though. I still love it. Oh, that. yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, some of them are still, like... Yeah. Some of the, like... Uh, it's not even... Surreal moments are more and more... Oh, no. The surreal more, moments like, are some of the, some of the funniest things like that. But just, like... I gotta pee and who's her... <laughs> they go right between the two, and then uh, it's a, I, I gotta, gotta pee, pee on her. her. <laughs> I, mean, I gotta pee, and then, and then there's um, uh, no clue. Totally gets it. There's <laughs> yeah. that one. Yeah, that one's great. Does she? No. That's Mae Whitman. Yeah, I know. Who is also from yeah, Avatar? Yeah, I know that. But was also in yeah. Arrested Development yeah. with Michael Sarah oh, when they were like and, kids. And Will well, Arnett. Like Will years. Arnett is in. First and all, with Michael Sarah. Yeah, and, and the Lego Batman movie together. Exactly. So Michael Sarah, was, he's just gonna come back to working with all the rest of the development co-stars at one point or another. Yep. Jason just Bain, like how and Michael Sarah is in Bojack Horseman with good. no one from Rest Development. What about Will Arnett? Someone probably guess. Isn't Will Arnett? The, wait, no. Who's the main character of Bojack Horseman? Will Arnett. Will Arnett. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So that's is is um what is um. Michael Sarah and Bojack Horseman? No. Okay. I thought he was. <laughs> you were saying it like he was. Yeah, I was like, he's in that show with no one from Arrested Development. Uh, he's not in that but show. But you know who is in that show? Alison Brie from Community. That's cool. Yeah. What are the connections? Oh, what Every, <laughs> and then, like, also Everything's Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad. Oh, so yeah. Like every TV show is tied together. <laughs> like, the, probably oh. tight, more tightly than movies, I would say. But. Uh, I mean, like no, like what's well, like it's like movies. Yeah. You can connect movies. Well, about movies it. have you can connect TV shows about as efficiently as you can connect movies. Movies have like circles, you know, like yeah, I know. Like it's Seth kind of like a big spiral has, of Seth Rogen has like his actors that he works with, all the and, time. Then, and then they and then that kind of crosses over with like you can put that into like um like who is it that um there's like um the like Sam Raimi has actors. Yeah, and, like, and Christopher stuff. Nolan has actors that he always uses and stuff like that. He hasn't used Kenneth Branagh before. Christopher Nolan? Yeah. And he's, he's in Dunkirk, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is he the lead? I don't, I don't know. Because Christopher Nolan tends to switch out his lead, but keep, like, all the supporting characters. Silly Murphy might be. I'm not sure. I'll check. Oh, that'd be cool. Also, Harry Styles in that movie. Harry Styles? Yeah. From, from One Direction? Direction? From One Direction. Why? Because uh, he's an actor. But, no, he's not. Also, I wanted to see that movie. <laughs> yeah, but he, did, he doesn't look like he styles up. Like, he looks like an actor. <laughs> what if he did? Oh, Tom Hardy's in the movie. Yeah, uh, Tom Hardy's Tom. the first credit, but I mean, that's exactly. not... Well, that's because... Well, it's IMDb, he's right? Top so top he, might, he might not even be the main character. Yeah, so, like, he's just like... Yeah, Nolan switched out his lead, so it might be this other guy, like, in your... And you're in... Bernard? He's the fourth credit, and I don't know his name, so he's probably the lead. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Oh, um, Jarvis from Agent Carter. Oh, cool. Yeah. He's pretty good. You know what show was good, but it's gone now? Agent Carter. <laughs> you know what's an you know, it's it's Agent Carter part. connection? Uh, Enver Gajinovic is, <laughs> is in that as uh, Agent Crutch. <laughs> and then he's and in the Avengers. he's also in the Avengers as a cop. <laughs> yeah. And he's also in Dollhouse yeah. as a doll. I think that's super so, weird when the MCU casts the same actor as multiple characters. <laughs> so they have two char- two people who are the same actor as multiple characters, and they have two people who are uh, the same character with multiple actors. Right, yeah. That's the MCU. Well, so wait, so who's the other person that is... Uh, an actor in multiple roles. You pointed this out to me. And it's the villain from Luke Cage. Oh yeah. Oh, the she's just like she's like you. You killed I my son, Tony Stark, and then she's like, I'm gonna go be a crime boss. I'm now. gonna go be a crime boss, even though I work for the United States government. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you know what their excuse was? What was that? My mom was just like, oh, well, we just really liked working with her, so we got her for this role also. It's like, no, that's a lie. You just mm. didn't think about that, and now you have now you have a continuity problem, and our fa- and fans have to like think of fan theories of why this can happen. Yeah. It's either going to be one of them is a clone, or you know maybe they're dolls. They're all dolls, or something. Yeah. Every, every, yeah. everyone's a doll. Oh, you know what the problem with season one of Agents of Shield is? Well, like one of the it doesn't problems. have a direction. Well, one, it doesn't have a direction. Yeah. Two, the one mystery of like how is Coulson alive? It's got a shitty, pretty it shitty has the, the all the like fan theories, like every theory, any any theory that you thought, well, what if he's was Blank. was a better theory than what it actually was? Was a more interesting, so yeah. would have been a more interesting story, like. I liked, um, the doll oh, theory. what, yeah, well, what if he's a, yeah, what if he's a doll, what if he's, uh, an android, that would have been good, what if he's, what if he was Vision, like, what if he later became Vision, that'd be cool, nope, be cool. not that, what if he's, uh, he's Martian, man, what if he's a, yeah, what if he's a scroll? oh, what about that, nope, yeah, wait, not skulls that. can disguise, they can, they can disguise change, themselves? change, yeah, they can change their shape. Yeah, but why would the scroll be working for Shield and oh, doing good guy know. things? I don't know. Oh, it's isn't a that mystery. interesting? What, what are we, where do you go with that? I isn't don't know. Isn't that interesting? No, they just poked his brain and he's alive again. Yeah. The end. With what, like a stick? Like, <laughs> I know they did like electricity and stuff. It was really yeah. dumb, but like I just imagine They gave him alien blood that heals everyone. So, you know, know that's a plot hole. They've got like you know, never die. They got like the crude <laughs> blood. It's like the con. Like, Who's like, died like, since then? They keep it. They keep it next to so the. So who's gonna watch some friends? Oh, I think we are. In a bit. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. no, they got like they keep the crude blood like next to the con blood. <laughs> yeah. And, like they're like alien <laughs> blood that makes people invincible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll just uh, take some. Of this. We cured death. <laughs> we did it. We cured death. <laughs> no one dies now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 is there any other like alien blood that like hears death? That's a good plan. Okay. Um, yeah. I have twelve percent of the plan. Twelve <laughs> percent? Ah, well, that is a fake, fake laugh. laugh. It's a fake, fake laugh. laugh. It's, it's real. real. <laughs> that is the most genuine, <laughs> authentic, <laughs> hysterical <laughs> laugh of my, my entire life. life. <laughs> It's a good movie. I like that you can enjoy them just sitting and talking. Yeah. Just as much as, you know, like, from shooting yeah. things. Yeah, no, because I like, the, like, Mr. Plinkett, uh, review of episode three, <laughs> explains, he's like, look, all these characters, they just stand and sit in rooms and talk, and it's really boring, right? But, like, check out this movie, Citizen Kane. Like, he's like, I know it's unfair to compare it to Citizen Kane, right? <laughs> yeah. But, like, this is just, like, it's the same thing. These are just characters talking in a room. Uh-huh. But this movie is infinitely more interesting because the characters are better. Right, yeah. That's true. And, like, they're, this, like, it's just so frustrating. <laughs> yeah. It's like, why can't, why can't Thrillers of Episode 3 be Citizen Kane? <laughs> Come on. Why can't just every movie be Citizen Kane? Every movie. <laughs> yeah. Every movie is now Citizen Kane. <laughs> <laughs> you just wake up one day. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> oh, no. The entire MCU, they're all Citizen Kane. They're they all have end credit scenes with T Citizen Kane. <laughs> Happen in the next one. I don't. I do know. <laughs> they all Kane. keep the same runtime, but and every just... every movie trailer is for Citizen Kane, and every movie in theaters is also Citizen Kane. Yeah. <laughs> in a world you put where in, every movie is Citizen Kane, you put in a movie is just Citizen Kane. <laughs> oh my god! You try to. You know, it's like an, that sounds like a weird like episode of like Twilight Zone. <laughs> that's that's more of a. The scary door. <laughs> the scary door. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's just die in the twilight zone. <laughs> I'm not smart. I've been going to bed. Uh, uh, 
Well, I go to bed at two every night and, and wake up at two, and I'm <laughs> fine. You know, that's because you sleep for twelve hours and are awake for twelve hours. You prick. <laughs> the perfect system. <laughs> yeah, not everyone can be a communist like you. <laughs> perfect system. Yo, it's really oh funny. So we were watching. We were watching this um, like the Walmart video or whatever. And the one guy, he's like, oh yeah, I I'm really right winged. You know, I don't really like uh, communists and stuff. He's like, I don't really like communism. I think it's dumb. And then, and then he went on to say that, like, oh, yeah, I think all the workers should, like, rally together and rise up and stuff. Like, <laughs> that's literally communism. I don't know if you know who Karl Marx is, but, like, you guys would get along really well. <laughs> like, I just thought it was really funny. Well, like, the, the that's, political spectrum, yeah. and uh, I, I agree with this. This was from Mr. Galley, which was... Uh, you it's know, a every, circle. Every spectrum yeah. is actually like more of a circle. Yeah. Where like once you get to the opposite yeah. end or something, it's yeah. actually starts to get closer yeah, to well, the because far right the other end of it. Far right is more government, and far left is more government. It, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, because co- communism and fascism, but like, are the opposites, but like they actually kind of because they, they equally the they thing. equally suck. But like, uh, and, but like yeah, so it's almost yeah. yeah. Anyways, yeah, well, those. There's nothing cast where we occasionally talk about the political spectrum and actual deep stuff other than Guardians of the Galaxy. Ah, uh, got a feeling, but I believe it. But you're in love with me. 